Okay, in this video we're looking at the English football clubs with owners from the USA. Yes, I know Swansea City is a Welsh club, I know Wrexham is a Welsh club, but they play in the English league system. Now, in total, there are 23 clubs from the National League all the way up to the Premier League that I could find with American money in them, with their, with their ownership groups or investment. Half the Premier League, that's 10 clubs in the Premier League, have American owners or part owners. That means 13 clubs outside the Premier League uh, have uh, money from the USA tied up in their ownership groups. That is a lot. That equivalates from the National League all the way up to uh, the Premier League. About a fifth of clubs uh, in total have, about 20% of clubs, have some form of American investment. So we're going to start with the 10 Premier League clubs in alphabetical order. Then we're going to move on to the Championship clubs in the Football League. Again, alphabetical order and so on and so forth. Down to Wrexham, who are in the National League. Although next season they could be a Football League club, depending on how their last few games of the season go. Notts County could pip them. So let's have a look at this. So, Premier League, 10 clubs in total. Arsenal, Stan Kroenke has a massive stake in Arsenal. Uh, Aston Villa, uh, Wesley Edens has a massive stake in Aston Villa. Bournemouth, William P. Foley also famous for being a part owner of the Vegas Golden Knights in the NHL. Chelsea is obviously another recent one with an American takeover. Todd Bowley, Mark Walter, uh, Ber Berdad Egbali and Jose Felicano as the owners. Obviously, Todd Bowley is the face of that ownership group. Uh, LA Dodgers uh, are their financial links there. Uh, Crystal Palace, uh, three members of the Crystal Palace, Palace ownership group are American Josh Harris, David Blitzer and John Tex Textor. Uh, that's the Palace ownership group. Fulham, Saheed Khan, obviously the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, Leeds United, a 44% stake with the York family. They're the ones who own the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, Liverpool, FSG, the Fenway Sports Group with John W. Henry and Tom Werner. Um, Manchester City, 18% of their ownership is with the Silver Lake Consortium. Uh, so it's not all Abu Dhabi money in Man City. And Manchester United, obviously, with the Glazer family, who also own the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So that's 10 out of the 20 Premier League clubs have American money tied up in their ownership. That is pretty ridiculous. And then we get to the, the Football League and the Championship. So this season in the Championship, although Burnley have got promoted as champions, Burnley, ALK -A -A Capital. Uh, that's an American consortium that own them. Millwall have American money. Uh, John Berylson and Richard Smith are the joint owners of Millwall. Uh, Norwich City, it's not just Delia Smith who owns Norwich City. Uh, Mark Atanasio has an 18% stake in Norwich City. And Swansea City with Stephen Kaplan and John Levian, 68% uh, of the ownership uh, at Swansea City is American money. That's four clubs in the Football League Championship. Uh, Football League League One, six clubs. It's pretty insane. Uh, Barnsley with uh, Chien Lee and the Pacific Media Group. They have a stake in Barnsley. Cambridge United, a third of their ownership money is American with Adam Webb with 10%. Mark Green with 20%. Uh, Ipswich Town is owned by a pension investment, uh, investment fund called the Game Changers 2020. That's Ipswich Town. Uh, Plymouth Argyle, the majority stakeholder there is Simon Hallett. Portsmouth, uh, Michael Eisner owns Portsmouth. Wickham Wanderers, 75% of Wickham Wanderers is owned by Rob Kuhig. League Two, there are two clubs in League Two for this season that now have American money. Gillingham with Brad Galesons. Uh, ownership and Sutton United with Gary Otto's investment there. He's a partial stakeholder. And then finally, Wrexham with Rob McElhinney in the National League. Um, alongside Ryan Reynolds, the Canadian actor, Rob McElhinney, the American actor. He has a 50% stake in Wrexham. So that's 23 clubs in total who play in the English league system with American ownership. Uh, that is a fantastic amount out of the hundreds of clubs in the non-league and the Football League and the Premier League that compete in the English league structure. The fact that in the top five levels, 23 clubs have American partial or full ownership uh, is... is um, ridiculous really uh, it just shows that it's not just the Manchester United who got the ball rolling it's throughout the football system in this country the Americans have brought in in large a large amount of investment worth billions and billions of US dollars so there you go there's a brief look at the English football clubs with owners from the USA I know two of those clubs are Welsh but they play in the English league system and this amount of investment is worth as I say billions and billions of dollars it's insane. So there you go. There's a 
brief look. It is a very long list. I am surprised with the amount of investment in the lower leagues outside of the Premier League, uh, 13 clubs in total that I could find with American money tied up in their ownership groups. And it just shows the, the, the growth in the interest uh, from the US market. Because if there wasn't that interest from fans domestically in the USA, we wouldn't have all these owners buying in uh, to our football clubs to then get the TV rights deals to show games over in the US. There, there wouldn't be the interest. If there wasn't a fan base in the US, there wouldn't be the interest in potential ownership in English football. So supply and demand. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. Place your thoughts below and I'll have some more content for you very, very soon. Thank <laughs> you.